Well, good Wednesday afternoon to y'all. It's Dan. I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. Lord have mercy. I'm excited. I went to my local cooperative and I found some Georgia College. We finna put them in the ground for the fall crop, y'all. So give me a second. We finna walk over yonder and we're gonna get with it. So give me a second. Got some black cow manure. All I'm gonna do, and now remember, we are we rocking and rolling with the no-till method. So all I'm gonna do is add this black cow to the top of these beds, and we're gonna rock on just like that. So we might get another bag in there. We're just gonna see what happens. We'll get it all out of there. We ain't gonna waste none of that stuff right there. Let's get our thing my doodle right here and we're just gonna push that black cow over. And we're just gonna mend straight into this bed and we're gonna plant straight into that black cow. Hmm. Black cow is pretty wet. All right, that's looking good, y'all. I'm gonna break up these clumps. Let me show y'all the star of the show right here. Hope y'all can see that. These are the Georgia College. Now, these are not the Georgia hybrids that I normally plant. These are just regular Georgia College. And the thing about these things are, these guys require about 18 inches of space or birth, whichever you choose, 18 inches for them to grow. So we're gonna try to mark out about 18 inches and we're gonna rock and roll. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, let's go. We have about six plants. So, let me give me 18 inches the other way. Let's see, I really don't like stepping in my raised beds, but. That should get us where we need to be. I think that's six plants. Heck, I don't know. I'm gonna have to go over there and check. No, that's three, six, that's 12. Oh, Lord have mercy. But here we go. There's one right here. Come on out of there. Right, let's see, we're gonna put one right here in the middle. Oh yeah, definitely root bound. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me show you. Look at these guys, they root bound. So, may give these guys a little twist and a pull just to break it up just a little bit. And we'll rock and roll. Hope y'all seeing some of this anyways. Eh, I have the camera set up high. You get the gist of what I'm doing. And what I'll do is once I get these guys all planted out, I'll put that camera on a small tripod and I'll give you a close up of what it looks like. I don't know about y'all, but I love some dang collars. College and cornbread. Now, what I have over here is some unfertilized utility hay. That's all it is. It's just utility hay. Um, and the good thing about it is it is not fertilized. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mulch all these guys in over here with that utility hay. And hopefully we can keep some of that water in the ground. So... Let's start doing that. Oop. I'm going to get it all up underneath them leaves and whatnot. Now, this, this hay is going to gonna help out a lot, especially with the water, and it's also going to keep the weeds down. Not that I have a lot of weeds in here, but it's going to help out. And then as this, uh, this hay breaks down, it's actually going to add some valuable nutrients into the soil. So that's a good thing as well. I don't know if y'all can see all of this and what I'm doing. Hopefully you're catching some of this. It looks like it's a mess, but it's it's gonna it's gonna help these guys out pretty good. So that's right, that's how we're gonna roll with it. Got everybody covered up over there as well on those peas and stuff. Help them with the water retention and things like that. So 
let me get that uh, squared away. I might actually put some of this stuff in those rays uh, where I got my maters at too. Might do that too. So let me get that squared away. And once I get everybody uh, hayed in, I'll uh, turn this camera back on. So give me a second. All right, y'all, we done drove this thing like we stole it. Let me show you what it's looking like. All right, here you go. There's one bed that's got the uh, Kentucky Wonder Poles in them. I went ahead and bedded them jokers down with that uh, utility hay. And here's the other bed. And as you can see, I mean, I've made little reparations where I can see where everybody's at. May have to water these guys now. I don't know, may have one or two that, that are not gonna make it, but that's cool. Um, this black cow manure was actually quite wet when I was dumping it in the bed, so I'm probably not gonna water this area. I don't know, we'll just have to see. And here's our, our cabbage, Brussels sprout, and kale. They all nicely tucked in in that hay. Hopefully that'll keep the weeds down and it will also hold water it will help with water retention now is this the right way to do it i don't know it's just the way i'm going to do it we're going to see what happens doesn't appear to me that it would uh, be a bad thing um, so given that it is uh, unfertilized hay so i don't have to worry about getting any uh, fertilizers you know nasty stuff mixed in with uh, what i'm growing so that's a good thing and uh, y'all, if you, if you get hay or straw or something like that, make sure you get it from a, a reputable business or somebody that you actually know. I actually know the fella that did, uh, that bailed up this hay. So I trust him and we're gonna rock and roll. Here's the, uh, the mater bed and the pepper bed. I got them all hayed up real good, mulched up if you will. And we're gonna see what happens. So there you have it. That's what I've done today. Got those uh, Georgia collards in the ground. Got everybody mulched up. Hopefully it'll help with water retention and the weeds. So, look, y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up help me. Um, and I appreciate them. And if you haven't subscribed to the Home in the Sticks channel, think about it. Sure gonna love some have some new folks uh, come visit me over my Home in the Sticks so I can share what I'm doing with y'all. You and y'all. And, uh... You know it's coming now. And I'm always going to say it because it's something that you need to know and you should stand by. Don't let nobody dull your shine now. And I mean nobody. You get your shine on. And we'll see you and y'all in the next video.